Greetings, people of the world! Matthew back with you here at Novora Autism for the continuation of Let's Play Eternal Sonata. So, last time we started the seventh chapter of the story, Heroic, by following Count Waltz and the mutated legato into this alternate universe where people who have taken mineral powder are reduced to nothing more than the glowing orbs that you see standing beside Allegretto. Yeah, that's what you get reduced to when you die from using the mineral powder, so... As a result, we have to try and pursue them, but the only way we can is to go into the building behind me in order to lower the force field that Count Waltz and Legato have somehow gotten behind. So, let's now make our way inside this building and take on the challenge therein. And for those of you who have seen my Final Fantasy X to Minimalist run, get ready for a redux. As you can see, we're going to be, have to be playing music here at this particular location. So, I welcome you to the Xylophone Tower of the Shining Keys. And so yes, it is mandatory that we're going to have to play music to advance around here. So, we want to walk up towards the keyboard and speak to, yeah, you want to speak to this thing with a little t curly tail on it. So, you've noticed me, have you? I'm a guardian of this lofty tower. Well, isn't this a treat? I hadn't had visitors in quite some time. It seems everyone's a coward these days. Nobody has the guts to take on this tower. I've got a soft spot for reckless little humans like you. Do you now? Wait, what's up the blank stairs? You mean you don't know about the trial? Whoa, whoa, hold on, seriously? Well, it seems my little speech I've praised was wasted on you. Well, thanks a lot. Da, da, da. <laughs> Which means, wait, don't tell me. You don't know the rules of the trial either. Unbelievable. Kids these days. I guess there's nothing for it. Alright, I'll explain the rules, so listen up and listen good. First, look over there at those golden keys. Well, there are also silver keys alongside them. I'm going to play you a song, and it's your job to memorize it. Hey, what's with all the firing? There's nothing to worry about. While I'm playing the music, the keys will glow to match the different notes. So even if you don't understand music, you can just memorize the order in which the lights glow. When the song's over, it's your turn. Play the notes in the order you heard them. Here's how it goes. Stand on the key of the notes you want to play, then press the X button. If you're standing on the correct key, the key will light up, and the note will play. But if you make a mistake, there'll be no light and you'll hear no sound. If you can manage to recreate the song in its entirety, I'll open the stairway that leads to the next door. Or next floor, rather. So that's basically how it works. Yeah, I think we've got it. Well, why not give it a try? If you can't remember it all, and make a mistake, just come talk to me. I'll let you hear the song again. Alright, here goes. Listen up now. Alright, first round. Yeah, pretty straightforward. He plays four notes. B flat on the left. G on the right. F on the left. Or F on the right. G on the right. And in so doing, we now get ourselves access to this beautiful glowing staircase. Pretty cool, huh? Yeah, it even spirals a bit. And so, that's what we get to climb up. So, we don't have to talk to him again, we can just move on. And when we move on... Yeah, it's going to get a bit discordant around here. Every time you step on the staircase, it makes this musical sound. And now we get our taste of the first enemy around here. Hey, don't look away from me. All right, here we go. And Starlight Blast. And we turn it over too. Nice. All the way there, Miss March. And Alright, not quite. Let's see if Viola can finish it out. 
Yes, she can. Alright, there we go. And more discordant music. Yeah, it's this sort of thing that tells you that we are indeed getting close to the end of this game. It won't be long now. Next up. Don't take all day. I gotta move quickly. Yeah, and the keys do count as your light area. So, always keep that in mind. It's not just where that um, little staff is down at the bottom of the screen. Alright, Viola. Secret strike. Gone. Don't get mad at me. Oh, of course not. Unless, of course, you start missing badly again. Because you are known to do that in boss duels. But I have a foolproof strategy for when we take on our next boss. Alright, now we start seeing a bit of variety. But it's the same opponent. It's just that this is another one of those monsters that changes depending on whether it's in the light or the shadow. Did I make your eyes spin? So let's go over and proceed to finish it off. And I might as well go hand to hand because this thing is so close to me. Yeah, that'll cause damage. Yeah, I'm able to defend that one. Oops, but that one was a false start. Oh, that was not how I wanted to have that happen. Nonetheless... Alright, should be able to put it away soon. Go there, March. Take it out. Yes! Excuse us. And we shall indeed move on. Off we go, continuing up the spiral staircase. And the discordant music therein. Getting towards the home stretch, but we should be seeing, yes, a new enemy. Yeah, this is a completely original opponent. Yeah, I bet you've seen the name by now. Black Gold, Texas T. <laughs> yeah, and it certainly hits like Texas, doesn't it? Yeah, it definitely hits with the Texas side slap in the face. Unfortunately, since it went behind me, there was nothing really I could do about that. Yeah, the AI is definitely getting better as the game goes further along. And we don't even need Secret Strike. And continuing on. Alright, now we start going into a situation where we have various split paths. There are treasures to be found, so make it a point to check every single area. Um, we'll start with the left, because obviously there are monsters on the right. Plus other split paths available. Okay, nothing left. I should... I went against my initial instincts and should have went left first. Nonetheless, we gotta crack out new, another new enemy. Come on out of hiding. There they are. Better back off. Here we go. Let's take these guys out. Did your stomach drop? Now for March to get in on the action. Let's pound away. Yes, we can kill out without even needing Viola, and yeah, I kind of had to see that coming because it did. Yeah, Viola, unfortunately, against these enemies, not very effective with the bow. And for some reason, I hit them in the front. Have a nice nap. But it's almost dead. So, let's hope March can finish it off. She should be able to with the Supernova. And she does. That was fun. Yeah, it was fun. Now that that's taken care of, let's check over here to see if there are... Oh, I noticed that there was a dead end over here. No treasure over there. There is a treasure over here, though. Okay. Inside, we get our hands on the Mist Cape. I think Viola can be equipped with this. Um, let me check to see if this is true. No, cannot be equipped with it. Um, who could take it? Well, Salsa can take it, but yeah, you know, she's way too far behind to be much of a difference at this point. Not, not that we would ever use her, of course. No, her twin sister March is more than sufficient. 
Oh, double play maybe? Oh, pff, I went completely around. I didn't even notice where I was standing. <laughs> oh, no way. My turn got cancelled. Are you kidding? Can we still get the double play? Yes, we got it! And wow. March's turn gets cancelled, and Viola still gets the double play! Ah, this game never ceases to amaze me. That was spectacular. Ooh, double play possibility again. Well, depends on where they're going. Ow. That was a false start. Uh, looks like this other one's also going to Viola. And you don't fool me twice. Let right, go. Yeah, this is double play territory for sure. Let's make it happen. Alright, get in here, March. Yeah, rip them open, rip them apart. Plus, they also save themselves up for. Okay, there goes one. And let's do a harmony chain for good measure. And there we go. Victory is ours, and Allegretto gains another experience level, so he is now up to 42. Alright, so. Let's take the time to heal Viola now, because she could use it. Um, still torn, what, what do I use at this point? Yeah, I have so many healing items, it's like, which ones do I use? <laughs> That's always the big quandary here. Alright, so... As you can see, we now have another challenge. Um, hold on a second. I need to take care of something real quick. Okay. Now it's time for the next challenge. It appears you have noticed me, guardian of this hallowed tower. If you have come this far, that means you must have completed my younger brother's trial. Well, he is a rather simple fellow. His trial can be passed with some... with ease if you can just manage to remain calm. You will find, however, that I am different. If you think such an easy task deserves to be called a trial, you would do well to think again. A trial is an insurmountable wall. A battle struggle. I shall send you home in tears. <laughs> yeah, this guy wants to send us home in tears, and I do not know why that is. I think it's quite hilarious that this inanimate object believes it is capable of doing such a thing. <laughs> Well then, shall we begin my trial? Yeah, and so now, in this particular situation, what we're going to see happen is that um, he is now going to... What we're going to see is that this guy is going to add on to the, um, the, the song that was played in the first trial. So we're going to see that he's going to be adding more onto this. Alright, so, listen, for I will play. Alright, so now, all we gotta do is basically um, play the four notes that were pre played previously, and then on top of that, play what was just added onto. Yeah, I'm trying to pull out my chart here because I rely on that better than my own memory. Of course, we do know the first four notes. And then... And then black, E flat, or... Oops. Yeah, I relied on my chart and it still isn't right. Alright, do, do it again. Um, yeah, I'm talking to you. Yeah, do, do it again. Yeah, I have my chart in front of me, and <laughs> yeah, I guess I can't necessarily rely on what I see. Alright, let's do this again.
and then and then the two C's. Yeah, forgive me if I end up being preoccupied by my chart, but I, as I said before, I find it more reliable than my own memory. However, it did not prove to be all that reliable because I still made a mistake. Yeah, even though I play this game every single year, once a year, I still end up being forced to rely on the usage of the chart that I written all those years ago. I was trying to find it on my, um, in my papers. But I did find it. Uh, I do have documents for this sort of thing, just in case the computer fails. Well, are you yeah, and ready speaking or what? speaking Let's of which, um, yeah, my computer. Um, don't know if you've been paying attention to my Final Fantasy XIV and Run Reborn LP, but my um, LP in that was delayed for over a week because my laptop crashed. Oh. Crap, I didn't get a chance to get off the one ability that I wanted to in time. And hey, I still scored damage on that guy. So yeah, I was forced to wait for over a week for it to get repaired, and then I needed to build up the confidence again to resume doing my Let's Plays. So, it's been a while since I've done this, but I'm just glad to be back. So Viola gains an experience level. She's up to 43. Yeah, it kind of feels that way, doesn't it? Back up the stairs. Yeah, you figure that this melody would be more harmonious instead of discordant, but hey, I'm not the one who made this game. Okay, you're up there. Alright, black gold, Texas tea. Let's start pounding the crap out of you. Yeah, the shadows are indeed coming for you, man. And Supernova. And Viola should be able to finish it off with what she's got. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. And away we go again. Yeah, listening to the opera music, yeah, this should be more melodious. And away we go again. Yeah, reaching the end of the spiral, now waiting whatever is going to be the last line of defense on these stairs, and hey, guess who it is? Oh, okay, I thought I was seeing more than one of them, but no, he is going to take advantage of the fact that Adagrado had his back turned. Yeah, the enemies are getting smarter and smarter. We are getting towards the late stages of this game, so that really should not come as much of a shock to anyone. Midnight Cloud. Now, rack up the damage there. March. Alright. Viola. And two arrows is all it takes. Alright, that section is finished. Now, I'm gonna go right this time, because, yep, yeah, there was the dead end was left, so this time it had to be to the right. And I'll need to take some healing after that last battle. Um, let's throw a floral powder to Allegretto. And continue on. I see dead end, and a treasure chest guarded by that monster. And now we can get our hands on this treasure chest, and we are getting our hands on... The Ruthless, an enhanced weapon for Salsa. So yeah, it looks like all the stuff is geared towards Salsa around here. But, of course, we have no point of using her. There is no reason for us to use a miserable little wench like Salsa. There is simply no point for it whatsoever. On oh, another chest, and we got a chance to open it before we take on the monster, we get Alice's watch. Um, what does this do? This is watch. Increases tactical time. Well, I'm not all that worried about the tactical time aspect. I mean, you get so used and so accustomed to working with less of it that you really don't worry all that much about having it once you get to this point in the game. So, let's go ahead and beat up our next enemy. And the 
enemies are lining up for double play possibility. And they both targeted Viola, and so now they set themselves up for the perfect opportunity to get it, and we could very well see it happen through a Harmony Chain. Will it work that way? Well, it will through a three-part Harmony Chain. Viola just so happens to be in the right place at the right time. So, with that... Yeah, definitely gonna need to use burn another floral powder. Now we're so deep into the game now. That floral powder means so much more. And I'll have to take a little bit of healing again. Um, this time I'll limit myself to the cookies. Um, two to Allegretto will do. Then we can continue. Yep, one more line of defense before we continue on to level 3 the challenge. And I see double play possibility, but that depends on where they're all going. Yeah, it's a shame that Allegretto's standing where he is, because it could it could have set up for a triple play. In fact, I'm going to see... Well, I guess it's too late now, but... Yeah, we can see clearly where these things are going to be attacking. Alright, here we go. For the double play. Here I come. And here she goes. Roar yeah. curtain. There goes one. Ah, oh, it's not a double play. Darn. Oh, that sucks, because, yeah, it was setting up for a possibility, but unfortunately that th possibility goes beckoning. So he goes down. And here we go again. Yeah, turn around there, March. Right behind you. And. Uh, yeah, well, rather, what was that? You missed completely, and it takes a. And it's on delay for the kill to be recognized. I've never had that happen before. Anyway, we made it to floor number three. Alright, so. Um, you know what? I think we're going to take a time out before we continue on with floor three. Because we're pretty much at what could be considered halfway. So, I'll take the quick time out. And I'll be right back and we will continue on here in the Xylophone Tower. So, do not go away. <laughs> 